This woman washes her hands 1,000 times a day. She accidentally touches her face with her hand and has to wash it off. If someone touches her hair, then she has to wash her hair immediately. Mary washes her hair everywhere she goes. She never opens the door with her hands. She never picks up toilet paper when it falls on the floor. That's nothing. This man never walks on the joints of tiles. He always carries a shoulder bag. If there are too many lines on the road, he just throws the bag away. It's so easy. He also has a habit. Everything must be symmetrical. His glasses had to be squared up twice. He has to wear two watches. He even changed his name to Otto. I can live with all that. What's really annoying is this man. He would swear at people regardless of time and place. The more nervous he was, the more he cursed. In order not to disturb others, he chose to keep his birds at home by himself. But all the birds he sold were returned to him because his birds only cursed. But the most unbearable thing was this woman. She draws the cross 10,000 times every time she goes out. She can't help checking her keys even though she has them with her. She finds the lights left on. She goes home and turns the lights off. She just left the house. And then she comes back. The lid was left on the house. She managed to get into the car. She heard a passerby say, it's the holiday season. A burglar would climb in through the window. She immediately lost her composure. She went back and closed the window again. And so she spent the rest of the day on her way out and back in. Sam cursed 72 times an hour, 1,728 times a day. That's 622,080 times a year. Mary uses a pound of water to wash her hands once, so she uses 100 tons of water a year. And these figures are all calculated by Ben. He counts steps when he walks up a flight of stairs. He counts cars when he drives. He can't stop when he sees the numbers. Several people have come to see the doctor. The appointments were all at 4.30 p.m. And they were all the same doctor who were all OCD. However, the nurse informed them that the doctor's flight was late. When they heard this, OCD broke out. Only Alice was very quiet. She has a compulsion to repeat herself. She always repeats a phrase twice. After a long wait, the doctor hadn't arrived. The nurse suggested that we talk to each other. First, the auto. He never walks on tile cracks, and he doesn't like to see things messed up. Here he is again. He can't help but tidy up when he sees a girl's bag. This has led to him not having a girlfriend until he's 20. Ben likes to keep counting, and he's a hoarder. His yard was filled with found junk. His wife filed for divorce when she couldn't stand it. Mary was a biologist. She thought there were germs everywhere. She had to disinfect every day. She mops the floor first thing on her way to work. She even got complaints from the cleaning staff. They've been waiting all day for the doctor and he hasn't arrived. Everyone wanted to leave. Otto blocked their way. In the bathroom the man holds the woman's hand, rubbing her hand back and forth on the sink. The sticky, slippery touch. It makes the woman shiver. She thinks of the water from the toilet splashing on the sink. It's unhygienic and full of germs. She was furious. They are actually helping her to heal. The man suggested a self-medication program for OCD. Everyone agreed to try it. The first one was Sam. They told him to stop swearing for three minutes. But the more nervous he got, the more he got sick. It made Alice sick too. Ben noticed that Sam had become more polite in his swearing. He ended up saying fart, pee and crap. Alice couldn't control it. It seems to be working. The second is Lucy who loves to check. She had to hold out for three minutes without drawing a cross. No checking of keys allowed. Everyone starts taking turns asking her if she's got her keys. Are the windows closed? Did she forget the water tap? Before long Lucy started to twitch nervously. Eventually she found the key to relieve herself. Lucy failed. Next one is Otto who walks without stepping on the cracks in the tiles. They came up behind him. They pushed him onto the striped floor. He was immediately upside down and swaying from side to side. Hey, I just don't step on the seams. He walks on the carpet with his eyes blindfolded. Only to remove the blindfold and see. He fails. It's time for Ben who was good at counting. Everyone lined up to give him a question, but Ben could answer any question in seconds. No matter how hard it was, it's not a challenge at all. The group decided the treatment was not working. They were ready to leave. Sam had a different opinion. He asked Ben, the calculator, how many times? How many times has Lucy crossed herself? And how many times did I swear? How many problems did you just do? Ben couldn't answer because he didn't care. Everyone was thinking that after Lucy, who loved to check, had passed out. 
Otto stepped on the seam in his haste. Mary didn't go to wash her hair immediately after touching Lucy. Lucy didn't cross her keys when she found them. It seems that everyone forgets their OCD when dealing with emergencies. In the end, everyone found their own solutions to the problem. Except for Sam. And then they all agreed to have group therapy once a month. They also set up a circle of friends. Ben was going to drive Sam, who was a swearer home. Sam refused. Then he went back to the clinic. It turns out he's the psychiatrist.